Um, hey everybody. Um, I just watched, I watched Earthlings about three days ago, and I noticed that people had posted responses, um, to us videos like this, so I thought I'd make one. Because this video, I mean, this movie really, really, really affected me deeply. Um, and it's just kind of had me shocked for the last, uh, 72 hours since I've seen it. Today was a little better, but the first two days I was, um, was really, like, really kind of dazed almost. And I just, was like, kind of depressed, honestly. I was just so shocked by the footage of what happens to animals. Uh, because you know, I love animals to death. I, they're helpless creatures with emotion. And we control them like they're puppets. But they have feeling, you know. And it just reminds me of watching you know, that cow hang by the rope after its throat has been cut and he's going down the line but he's still freaking out and dangling. <laughs> like, this, what that must feel like, that's just a living hell to me. That's like a living hell. Those places when I see, when I think about the footage of like the blood everywhere and uh, what goes on, it's like the most evil place I can think of. Just like pure evil. Like, like, like watching Texas Train saw Massacre. But in real life, like, when I first saw that movie, I was so scared, and I was so a kid. And then I saw this movie, and it's real, and it was almost worse, in a sense, because it was real. I didn't think it would be the same feeling. I mean, I'm older now, but, um, I mean, it's just hard to, to take in, really. It's just a lot of information, and it causes, it's, it's caused me to readjust you know, everything I think I knew, in a sense, it, it's just so profound because it's your food, and food is something we all take for granted. I mean, it, it, it's one of what makes us human is what we all eat. We all eat. It's, it's one of the things that we all share in common. Every single person eats. You know, we, we have sex, we eat, we shit, you know, we, we laugh, um, we have a few things in common, you know, and those are, you know, eating is one of the big ones, and so we, as we all buy food, and we have to all buy food from, sadly, you don't have to, but these corporations that do these things, and as consumers, um, it's impossible to know what's going on unless you saw a film like this. And people know it exists, and I've always known that they were out there. But I never wanted to see them because I, I, I hadn't really thought about it, you know? I mean, I, I've done community service, and I worked for a year doing community service, helping people. Um, and after seeing animals, like, slaughtered like that and put through the pain they did... It makes me see people differently. It makes me see humans fundamentally differently. And, like, it makes me really sad. And, like, he talks about speciesism. And I, at first, when I first saw the movie, I was like, that's corny. You know, he's just being over, like, melodramatic. But right now, it's kind of sitting in because we are just a species. And if you look at it from the outside, like who are like who are we to do this, just because we can? And we we do it shamelessly. And like we don't deserve to to first of all be able to do that. And it just makes me so mad that people always tout us for you know being so great in this. We do these things to helpless animals that have no way to defend themselves. You have a guy standing in a pen with eight pigs and he's got a, a electrocuting iron. And he just walks around. And these pigs know what's going on. And they can't go anywhere. They can't fight back. 
They just have to hope that they're the last one. I don't know. This is. I can't even wrap my head around it. It's so sad. It makes me like want to cry. And I did cry. I'm sure a lot of people did. And, um, just like angry. You know, I feel helpless. And you know, I, I don't. I know that I have to change the way that I, I purchase food and I've kind of known this for a while but never has it been as urgent to me as it is now after seeing that film uh, and I, I need to I mean some of the things are like easy to readjust like obviously no McDonald's anymore and I didn't really eat that much before but I, I, you know, recently before I seen this film I had gone and it was always like an indulgence thing and I knew it was shit food but it did anyway but anyway, so that's easy to cut out. I mean, but then, then it gets harder and harder to know which places are giving money to farms like this. You know, that are giving money to these corporations. Who knows? I mean, almost every place, except for the super pure ones, probably give money to these corporations. Like any deli, even even if you go in and buy a, ch a pack of chewing gum, you're helping them. To me, I think, I don't know. I don't know how they do the accounting there, but you're giving money to a company that buys meat from these farms and I don't think most delis are organic meat unless they say that so I mean it's like I don't even want to walk into any stores anymore and spend any money because I don't want to give these people anything after what I just saw I don't want to give these companies like a single cent I, I fucking hate them and I don't want to be filled with hate it's more just uh, real discontent, you know. But um, it's just I, I've never felt like such raw human emotion in the same way that I did after I saw this film. I've never really felt the sense of like seeing things for the first time when I've been around for as long as I've been around on this earth. I, don't know, I mean, I'm not young, I'm not old, I'm not young, you know, I'm 29, and uh, I'm just, I feel like waking up to something that's really important, and then I feel like everyone else is still asleep, you know, and it's my job to wake them up without being self-righteous and preachy, which I don't want to do because I'm, I'm like, I'm sensitive enough, and I don't like when people, you know, I'm afraid of people and get on an asshole and be like, dude, stop. Because I, I can't get really preaching and like self righteous because I want to be like, listen, fucking watch this goddamn movie because you don't know what the hell you're doing if you don't because you're giving money to corporations that, you know, you've seen the film, sure. If you haven't, then you have to watch Earthlings. I, I posted on my Facebook twice and I don't know if anybody watched it. Like, I, I don't, I have no way of knowing. Um, you know, no one left any comments. One girl liked it, and I talked to her, and she she shared it because she saw it when it came out in the theaters, and she sympathizes. But you know, I don't think anyone really gives a shit. People just want to go about their lives and be ignorant, and 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 and, 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 and not knowingly spend money on products that are, you know, and all these. So women need to go out and buy these fur coats, and men too, and all these fashion accessories, and and then oh, all the all the guys need to go out and buy meat. I mean, women do it too. I'm being very gender specific and generalizing, but I mean, you know, you go go to the football game, and get a burger, you know, you barbecue some shit up, and you buy all that meat. And that's where it comes from. You go and buy a jacket that's made of leather, and it came from a cow that was slaughtered in front of his friends after being dragged however many miles, broken bones, broken horns, and having its throat slit in this position. Like, with this, I, I, I can't even. It makes me so enraged, like that I want to kill those people that do it, but I understand that it's not their fault, it's money. 
the people that are doing it, it's almost not their fault because it's 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 a problem of incentives to me. Is that these people probably live in a really poor place, and if it's not that, then it's massive suffering for them. And it's like, who do you blame? You can't really blame these people. You have to blame the system, and I blame the people at the top. And and I blame. But you know, you can't even point fingers here because the whole point of a corporation is to um, spread out accountability and to make it so that not one single person can really be blamed. And um, you know, and, and so that's why I think these things are possible because everyone who signs these papers and goes to Washington and puts this legislation through by lobbying and never really have to be in the slaughterhouse and witnesses. Any of those guys on the, in the boardroom meetings had to do this. I don't think they could sit there and do it. These guys who work at any of these beef companies, Tyson, I don't know, whatever, the guys who distribute to McDonald's, the guys, I don't think they can, don't think they can do it. It's just a problem of being so far removed from what's actually happening that you are making happen, but you're 2,000 miles away in a boardroom in New York City when this is happening, and I don't know, wherever it happens, I don't know, Iowa, Arkansas, I don't know, any of these states. I think this is a huge problem. There's no accountability. These people can get away with murder, literally. 